everyone. So today we are doing a Target Halloween haul, or I guess I should say the Target online release Halloween haul, because I still haven't seen Target in the flesh, in the stores, and I don't think we usually see it until the end of August and or after Labor Day. In my area, it's always after Labor Day. That's when I start seeing fully stocked Halloween at Target. But Target did do an online hide and eat boutique release. So I snagged some items from that release, but there was a lot on there that I wanna see in the flesh because it was a very, um, I don't know, there, it was a very interesting line this year. Lots of bright colors, neon colors, very 80s, 90s vibes. There's a lot of stuff I wanna see in person in the flesh at Target this year before I make a solid decision. But there were some spooky goods on the online launch that I had to get my spooky claws on. So I'm gonna show you what I picked out today. That's what we're doing. By the way, if I sound like a nasally clown right now <laughs> and throughout this haul, it's because I am. I'm Flemmy the Flamingo, y'all. The air quality in my area is absolute garbage right now. And my allergies are suffering. My face feels like it's going to fall off my skull. I want to reach into my eyeballs, rip them out, scratch behind them and put them back. Like that's, <laughs> that's where we're at right now in the level of allergies. So if I start looking like I'm crying because my eyes are watering or my face literally falls off during the process of this haul, then just know that I'm currently, as always, struggling from allergies. So I'll try to find everything I mentioned in this video. Some of it might be sold out, but I'm gonna try to find everything I mentioned and link them in the description box for you so you can find at least a list of the items and have a link. Uh, even if they're sold out, maybe they'll restock or you can get an email notification if you want something. But either way, I'll have everything linked in the description box for you uh, if I can find them. Anyways, before I jab my jaws any longer, before my face falls off of my skull, let's get into this Halloween decor haul, this Target Halloween decor haul. Here we go. Let's jump into this. All right, let's start with this guy because I am the most excited about this guy, this bat on a pedestal situation. So if you saw the Target online release, then you saw that they're doing like an in your face, kind of neon colors, 80s meets 90s vibes, and I love them. I don't know how I'm decorating with any of this stuff, to be honest, because I don't know. We don't really have a ton of bright colors in my house. Uh, nor do I decorate with a ton of bright colors, but we're going to make it work because I love these pieces so much. And this bat, it's just, I don't know, they're blow molds at Target this year. They were so nostalgic. And this year for me is the year of the blow molds. All the blow molds this year are so good. And the ones at Target did not disappoint. Anyways, I got this bat and he's got these wings and he flaps his wings and eek eeks. Here we go. Let's, let's listen. It just the, the flapping wings, the whatever. It sounds like a dolphin meets a bat, but I love everything about it. Like, I can't get enough of this. And I also feel like Lucian's gonna grow up loving this piece because this is something I would have loved as a kid. Like, I'd still be thinking about this piece and be like, Mom, do you still have that? I feel like maybe. I don't know. I feel like I would though. Next up, oh, surprise, another blow mold, y'all. I got this, you know, I had to get this. This witchy blow mold this cackling hag witch blow mold which i love so much this is what i want to be when i grow up i'm halfway there i feel like i just don't have the green skin but i'm getting closer this is just a blow mold i don't think she makes any noise oh she does I almost dropped her. I was looking to see if she had a sensor because some of the Target stuff has sensors. So if you put them out in your front yard or on your porch and trick or treaters come up, the, you know, whatever, whatever device it is goes off or, you know, blow mold or whatever statue, tombstone, insert, whatever it is there. Let's hear it again or something else. Anyways, we have a witch that cackles and howls. Can't get better than that. Cannot get much better than that at all. So I got that witch blow mold, you know. Oh, by the way, let me mention prices. This was $35. The bat was $25 for the eking bat. 
and my hair is getting stuck in this in the tape oh by the way if you order anything from target online any other halloween items i tried to play it safe i didn't order any breakable items because i feel like it's really hit or miss when it comes to shipping these days and sometimes you'll get things that are perfectly packed like bath and body works uh, shout out to Bath and Body Works and their amazing packaging because everything was in like its own little styrofoam and boxes and everything. The Target stuff was all thrown into a box and shipped together. Like they were banging against each other. Uh, you'll see a piece here that came a little damaged, but it's fixable. But yeah, so be careful if you're ordering from Target. All right, next up, big surprise, got another blow mold. This is a classic orange jack-o'-lantern. Actually, this orange color is so bright. It is so good. I love this color of orange. And it's just a classic orange blow mold jack-o'-lantern situation. Let me turn this on or attempt to. How do I turn this on? Oh, there's no batteries in it and it doesn't do its thing. But it lights up, basically. It's just a blow mold jack-o'-lantern that lights up. And I thought about putting this in my in-your-face Halloween kitchen, like above my cabinets with all the other kind of vintage looking pieces. I thought this guy would fit right in. But now that I have him in the flesh, I wish I would have gotten another one. I actually kind of want a couple of them because I love these so much. I love the face. I love the color. I love everything about this. So I got this guy. I'm going to be looking for more of these in the flesh when it comes out in stores. And this guy was $5, which I feel like is a steal of a deal. Yeah, love this jack-o'-lantern guy. Such a good piece. Just classic, classic Halloween. I feel like this never gets old. All right, next up, let's take a little break from the blow molds. We shall return. You know we will. But I wanted to show you this pillow. This cute little, wait, does it go like this? I think it goes like this. This cute little bat pillow with the bat hanging upside down. And then the other side has little starbursts and all sorts of little stars on the back. But I got this for Lucian's room because I thought this would be super cute on his little toddler bed, which I'm sure he'll be switching to sooner than later. Right now he doesn't use any pillows or have any pillows on his bed, but I thought this would be so cute for an all year round little pillow, like his little throw pillow for his little toddler bed when we get to that point. So I love this. And it's the perfect amount of spooky cute too for a kid's room. Like it's not too scary. It's not too realistic. I feel like it's like the perfect kind of kids throw pillow or just in general, a cute spooky throw pillow, but I'm using it for Lucian's room. I'm so excited about it. How much was this pillow? $10 for the pillow, which is actually not bad for a throw pillow because I feel like throw pillows are at least $20, at least everywhere I go. All right, next up from Target Online, I saw this guy and I was so excited about him. This skeleton bust, spooky botanical garden of a situation, whatever this is. That's what I'm going to call it. But I feel like that's the best way to describe him. He's just a skeleton bust with all this moss and some little mushrooms and little death moths in there. If you can see the little death moths in there. So my plan for him was actually for an all year round decor piece. That's what I thought instantly when I saw him. I'm like, I would love that in my house all year round. But I feel like he'd also go in my witchy theme with the moss and I also have some little mushrooms and some bugs and stuff like that. I feel like he'd also go in my witchy theme. So that might be where he goes this year. All right, next up, Dallas and I saw this guy and we instantly got nostalgia, major 80s, early 90s vibes with this guy. It is this candy bowl, this skull candy bowl. And he is lime green, like very, very, very bright green. And he has these eyes that here, let me show you. Let me just say that's a spooky bop if I've ever heard one. So when Dallas and I saw this, the nostalgia definitely sold us. But we also needed a Halloween bowl for Halloween night because we kind of just use whatever basic bowl to hand out candy. And I wanted something a little more interesting, a little more spooky. And I'm so excited about this one. I'm, I'm anxious to see what the kids think this year. But also, I feel like Lucian is going to grow up loving this guy. I don't know. There's something about him that I would have loved, Dallas would have loved. We, we talk about it. We're like, oh my gosh, this would have been so good growing up. And if you watched my vintage Halloween haul, this piece actually kind of reminds me of some of those Amway pieces that Dallas's mom had from the 80s and 90s. This guy kind of reminds me of some of those. So, so we snagged this guy and he's even better in person. Like I was even more impressed with the detail 
and the eyes and the whole thing. I can't get over the spooky bop, y'all. Next up, I got a Grim Reaper blow mold. Yes, another blow mold. I know, surprise, surprise. I don't even know what I'm doing with all these blow molds yet. I think I'm going to end up doing like a, a spooky little blow mold community. I don't know if I'm doing it outside or inside, but I think I'm just going to cluster them together so you see all the different blow molds, all the different shapes and sizes and everything, like a whole little spooky town of blow molds. I think. But we'll see where the spooky wind blows us. That's to be determined. We're not to decorating yet, but we're getting closer. But this guy right here is the perfect spooky combo. Like the most epic spooky combo. It's a combo of blow mold meets grim reaper. And this guy doesn't have any spooky bops or cackles or howls or anything. He's just a good old light up grim reaper blow mold. And I love him so much. I thought this was so cute, but also spooky, but also it's a Grim Reaper blow mold. I had to have him in my collection. I don't have anything like him. So I uh, love this guy. Next up, I got this cute little plushy pumpkin head guy. Pumpkin head skeleton guy. He's actually one of those little like sits on a shelf kind of guys. And I got this guy for Lucian because I was thinking, if you remember a couple years ago, I think it was, I got Lucian that big skeleton sitting guy from Target. So I thought this guy was going to be the same size where he's like a bigger plushy kind of stuffed animal guy. But this guy, I guess I didn't read the specifications or details or whatever. I just saw him and I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna go with his little skeleton guy, which it still will. But this guy is much smaller than the skeleton guy. He's just a little, a little friend for Lucian, which he's gonna love this anyways. So I thought I'd put this maybe uh, in his nursery on his dresser or something like that because he's just a little guy. But this guy was $5. I thought for sure he was gonna be bigger, but it's okay. To have like a little spooky friend too. All right, last decor. Is this the last decor item? Ugh, what the hell? This whole time, hold on a minute. It's not him, it's him. So this whole time in my office, since I put this stuff in my office, cause I was gonna film this haul, this whole time, I'm like, it smells like the freaking lawn and garden section at Target in my room. Like, even Dallas was like, it smells musky in here. I'm like, I know, it smells like the freaking earth in here. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And it's this. I don't know why this smells <laughs> like the lawn and garden section, but it's very strong. I don't know if it's the paint or... Like, I don't understand. Or if it's like cat pee, or I don't know. I don't know what happened in shipping or in the warehouse or I, or if it's a paint, I don't know what's going on, but it smells like the lawn and garden section of, <laughs> of whatever store. <laughs> Anyways, I got this lawn and garden black cat blow mold, <laughs> apparently sold in the lawn and garden section. <laughs> And it fertilizes your yard for you. Not really. It doesn't do that. But it does smell really bad. I'm going to have to wipe it down or something and hope for the best and hope it's not the paint or something. Did anyone else get this? Does it smell like the lawn and garden section of Target, Walmart, Home Depot, wherever? Let me know in the comments because this guy reeks. He's really cute though. I got this black cat blow mold. And they usually have the black cat just like this every year at Target. But this year, I love the look of it. I love that nostalgic 80s slash early 90s kind of look to this piece. The lime green. I don't have a lot of lime green in my house, but we're going to make it work because it goes with Halloween. Green at least goes with Halloween. The pink bat's going to be the hardest one, I think, to decorate with. But the green, I think he'll integrate nicely. But here we go. Let's play this guy. You tell him. <laughs> Anyways, Lucian loves this guy already. Loves the meowing. Loves the head turning. He's already so excited about this guy. But he reeks. I gotta figure something out. I don't know what happened in this situation, but you need a bath, sir. Oh, Anyways. Uh, stinks. All right, last but not least, I actually did get some things from in-store Target because they started putting out their Halloween clothes, Halloween pajamas, 
Uh, right now it's just kids clothes that they're putting out right now but I'm hoping their adult pajamas come soon and I also looked in the sock department didn't see anything yet but it's coming I feel like it's coming I can feel it in my spooky bones anyways I got two spooky outfits for Lucian because you know I couldn't resist the spooky kids clothes and the spooky baby clothes but Lucian's not in baby sizes anymore and it's killing me I mean technically Lucian could fit in the 24 months uh, but I didn't see a lot of 24 months in the baby section so I went to the toddler section and they had these this one oh this one is so freaking cute because if you didn't know Dallas is a drummer he plays all sorts of instruments but drumming like he was a drummer in a band for years so as soon as I saw this with the drumming skeleton I was like Lucian has to have this to represent his dad dad but it has a drumming skeleton with a jack-o'-lantern face on the drums and the pants are so cute are actually this whole outfit is all year round for me you know us we're spooky all year round but the pants I feel like will go with so many different outfits in general because the pants have these little lightning bolts all over them with little skulls in there oh my gosh it's so cute I want this in my size just putting that out there anyways I also got this outfit with the mummy dinosaur riding a skateboard with a jack-o'-lantern pail and once again, these pants, these checkered pants could go with so much. I love a good multi-purpose piece. You know I do. So I got both these at 2T and he's going to be wearing them all year round because you know, you know us. So anyways, that's all I got from Target so far. I'm sure there will be another Target haul coming up when we go see everything in the flesh because there was so much I saw online that I want to see in the flesh, especially some of the bright colored 80s looking pieces because I'm not for sure how I'm going to decorate with them. I thought about doing the lime green bathroom with some of those pieces, but then I wanted to put that ghost, the big ghost guy from Cracker Barrel in there. So I don't know what we're doing yet, but we're going to go see it in the flesh. Of course, we're going to be out on the hunt looking for it. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that is it for this Target Halloween haul. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And there are more hauls coming. I'm actually looking at some stuff. I have some more hauls to film. So if you're looking for hauls, those are coming up. Halloween hunting's coming up because you know we've been on the hunt. And we're going to be decorating sooner than later. So I'm so excited for that. I hope you're excited. And yeah, let me know down in the comments if you got anything from the Target launch. If you like the bright colors, if you didn't like them. Uh, what you thought down in the comments or if you're just excited to see the whole display the spooky display You know I'm a sucker for a spooky display. Uh, let me know if you're excited to see that in the flesh And yeah, anyways, hope you're having an amazing spooky season an amazing Halloween hunting season uh, Thank you so much for hanging out here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time